Would we be told the reason why we, we need to know why he's here? Why can't yeah, we see, see my brother? Why can't we see? We should see? Why can't we see? That's the question we are asking. Yes. Maybe if he told us. We, we, to we just want to see him. Yes. Just to see him. We want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday night, he called me at around 11 p.m. and he told me that he has been detained at the airport. He was arriving from Mombasa. He told me that he has been detained at the airport by the DCI um, and has been arrested. So I asked him what has happened, what is the issue. He said he has absolutely no idea. He just said that I'll try call you back if I'm able to. His phone went off after that and it has been off ever since. So from yesterday morning, I began searching for him. I started at the DCI headquarters. Um, they told us to go to the airport. We went to the airport, to the police station. Uh, they said they don't have him. We went to Modaiga police station, Gigiri police station. Kilimani police station, Kilelesha police station, um, we checked Githurai, we checked um, Embakasi Petros, uh, police station, sorry, we checked also Nairobi area and uh, several other stations. We went back to the airport to the DCI and the commandant as well. Um, so consequently in the evening I was given information that he is in Moya. So we came here in the evening around maybe 9 p.m. And I was speaking to them, just trying to tell them that, you know, I just want to know if my husband is here, is he safe, has he eaten? Um, he also, there's some medicine he was supposed to take because he was unwell. So I just wanted to know his whereabouts. And I was severely manhandled, carried off. They did not want to hear anything that we wanted to say. Um, they basically just kicked us off and there was a very, very heavy police presence. Just outside the gate, there were maybe 20 to 30 um, police officers and inside also in the compound, there were very many police officers. They completely refused us access, but we were able to confirm that he is indeed here. So today in the morning, uh, 7, 7, 7 a.m. in the morning, we were here. And um, so when we came and asked for him, um, they were asking, oh, what, do, what are you talking about? Babu Owino is not here, blah, blah. But um, we thank God for the favor, for, for his favor, because his suitcase, I saw his suitcase and I said that he is indeed here because that is his suitcase. So that is when they said, oh, okay, oops. And they had to agree that he is indeed there. So I have been able to see him. Um, but now the issue is my husband has been detained for over 24 hours. From Tuesday 11 p.m. to now is probably maybe 40 hours that he has been unlawfully detained without explanation, without reason. There's absolutely nothing. He knows where he is. We had to get wind of where he is. Mm. He was arrested from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on, on Tuesday night. Mm. Yesterday he stayed there. He never had breakfast. He has not taken even a shower. The police has not even provided him with food. He is starving. They want to shakahola him. Yes. Which is not right. Been sick. The police want to shakahola Babu Awino. Yes. Why is he not being allowed to access his advocates? Why is he not being allowed to access his family? He has a right. He has a right unless we have suspended the constitution. True. So we are here to demonstrate. Mm. Yeah. And we are saying to demonstrate, if you want to interpret it to a man, to a man, to a man and, a man, and therefore you tear gas us, it's up to you. But we are here to follow up on that case.